Hey guys, welcome to the one of Arbiter's Gary's Mod tutorials. I know it's been a while, so I'm trying to uh, throw myself back into it. Uh, obviously, I haven't made a new video for Gmod 13 since its release, so I'm just doing a quick video on how to get yourself up and running with the new system, the new UI, and some of the add-ons. So first, before we even launch the game, I'm just going to um, show you how to install some of the add-ons. Now, most of the ones I use, obviously, you know, are Wire and the Stargate mod, which so I'm just going to show you how to install those before we even kick off. Um, first of all, you're going to need an SVN client. Now, an SVN client is something that lets you up, keep updated. Um, it essentially keeps an online sync, sync between you and the developer. So the developer makes an update, you on your computer can just say, right, update, and your add-ons will update as often as the developer updates them. So it's really useful for just keeping in touch without having to go trawling through the internet for different versions every time you want to update something. So download and install that, easy. Uh, current versions 1.7.11, easy, easily change as this video gets older. And you can download it for 32 and 64 bit. It's a very lightweight program, it won't cause you much bother just having it installed. And you can even uninstall it afterwards if you don't like it. So, once that's installed, you'll now notice that you will have an option on your folders to SVN Checkout. Now, SVN Checkout lets you... If this loads... Yeah, just take your time, take your time. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's over here. Um, it'll let you update a folder. You basically put in a URL of a repository, which is where, obviously, the developers are keeping their programs. And it'll just go to it and start download. So I'm just going to open up this Gary's Mod folder which I created earlier as kind of a mock um, a mock of your Gary's Mod folder. Obviously mine is up to date so I have to do this elsewhere. And I'm just going to, let's start with wire. So I'm going to get all the wire add-ons. So I make a folder called wire and let's look up the page for wire. So I've got on the wire mod forums here and on the corner here it says download wire mod or advanced duplicator. I think they're different now to each other so you can download them separately and of course clicking on this will take you to the wire page where they throw information at you and so you don't get confused. Here is a guide on how to get wire mod, get SVN, we've hopefully done that. Uh, go to your add-ons folder, right click an empty space and select SVN checkout. Put this URL on the field and replace master in the checkout directory field with wire so it looks like this. So let's copy that, let's go to our Right click, SVN checkout, and we're copying that. Um, so add the word wire there, and OK. And hopefully now it should start flying with the wall of text to make things. No, it's just going to fail me like that. There we go, and we have some wire mods installing. I'm going to cancel that because I don't need wire. And I'm going to go back and I'm going to make a Stargate folder. I'm just going to write Stargate there. And close that because we're doing with wire. Uh, this is a great website that I found. It's a big list of all the SVN links for different add-ons. So we've got some here for life support, for uh, PC mod, PHX model pack. And down here we have Stargate. Now SG mod is not the one made by Avon. That's a totally, it's a different mod. I haven't tr tried it and I don't use it but Avon makes a pretty decent mod, so I'm just going to use that one. And it says underneath the username and password is anon and anon. So, back to Gary's mod. I'm going to right click on this, SVN checkout, change the URL repository, and OK. Now it should ask me for a password. It's not, because it's probably remembered I've done this before. And it started already downloading things. Now, it'll make its own add ons folder. And all you have to do is when this is finished downloading, merge your two add-ons folders. So that one, if I just cancel it, yeah, it's done. And move add-ons to the Gary's Mod directory, overwrite each other so they'll merge together, and then we should have a wire and a Stargate. Obviously yours doesn't look like that because mine's not finished. Yours will look like, if I can navigate my Steam folder, yours will look like this. And you should have Wire and Stargate in the same folder. Okay, so this is your new main menu. Now, I miss my old blue background that may have, some of you may have known, but this is pretty good. Um, 
there are a few changes to the to it. Obviously, you've got you've still got fine multiplayer games, and you'll be able to pick. Ooh, that looks shiny. You'll be able to look at. These are different game modes. So you have here Dark RP, and you can open that and look at all the Dark RP servers that are running. You can open um, Trouble in Terrorist Town. I've played that. That's pretty funny. Game mode, and you can look through all your game modes like that. I'm gonna go back to main menu. Oh, oh sorry, I missed a little bit there. Look at the side. You can look at the internet, local history favorites, and even look at the legacy browser, which is the old style server browser, which is still nice to have lying about. Going back, um, look at the add-ons. This bit's... Nope, I'm going to leave that last. I'm doing this all wrong. I should have thought about what I was doing first. Um, you can look up demos, which are basically recordings of people uh, that they submit to basically a central server and it'll look at top-rated ones. So we've got ones here of uh, me playing Minecraft plus Source at the same time. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I'm a bit mocking. Just another zombie invasion. So you can record stuff and submit it, and it's basically a centralised um, video place. Uh, going back. Saves. Um, no saves found, but you can store saves of single player games like before. And of course, now I'm going to move on to add ons. Now, the add ons kind of merged with the Steam Game Hub. If you've ever done anything, if you've ever got a game that uses the Steam Game Hub, Steam Game Hub like um, Skyrim does it. And there's some other ones. Basically, all it means is the mods are controlled by Steam, so Steam will update them for you, kind of like an SVN, but Steam's in control and Steam does it automatically for you. So let's have a look at this. I've already got the door stool and stabled. Ah, uh, okay. Sorry, I'm getting out of. I'm getting ahead of myself. You've got the types of add-ons at the side. So let's say I want a new map. So we've got trending maps, top-rated maps, the newest maps. Let's go for something new since I've got already got a few maps. <clears throat> Excuse me. If it loads, my internet's going crazy. So, uh, let's have a look at these. The Wire Nightclub. So, <laughs> very detailed. So, let's say, yeah, okay, I want. No, let's get Horror Story. No, it's a dark map. Um, uh, which one do I want? Lightroom? Driver's Heaven? Yeah, okay, let's go for Driver's Heaven. And I'll just press install at the bottom, and it'll just install at the bottom. And I'll keep subscribed to that, so if there's ever an update, it'll update it. And you can do the same thing with weapons, and tools, NPCs, vehicles. I've downloaded a cars pack, and I've got some weapons. There's a lightsaber there. Why not just get a lightsaber as well, you know? And they'll, these these will all download automatically, and you can just play them. So, I'm just going to let that download itself. There we go, the lightsaber. Okay, and that's all. Those, are, those add-ons are installed now. I can go to tools, and I can download... Some things as well. <coughs> uh, Canon, Smart Welder, Jukebox, Fallout Edition, Basic Time Control. I mean, yeah, th th these are all like some. There's some good tools and there's some bad ones, but the important thing is that they're all in one place and you can just play them whenever you like. So, with some lag, we're going to open up a single player game. Now, this menu is different as well, and you can look there's Driver's Heaven that I just downloaded, and you can pick how many players you want at the side, your maps are obviously on the other side, we can go to the boxes, and let's play Driver's Heaven. Okay, so now you can see that the map that I just downloaded in the opening of this video I now have, and I can play this as... Ooh, there's some nice big roads around here. Sorry, I had a little crash there, so I've come on CS Office just to uh, better illustrate my point. Uh, the UI, pretty much the same as before, except that your spawn list is now on the bottom, instead of in a... I think it was up the top before, you can still search for things. And you now have PHX as standard, which is nice. Oh god, I've shoved it through the floor. I think they just figured PHX was so widely used and it was so useful that uh, was worthwhile just including it. Along the top, you've got some of the mods you've installed, um, mainly the entities that you normally spawn, and you know vehicles and other mods that normally have there, including Stargate, which we've downloaded and we can now, you know. Whoop. After a bit of lag, spawn a Stargate, even though it's through the ceiling. And one of the things I do love is you can have saves. People can submit save games that they've made on maps so they can prepare something and then you can just play it and load it. Which I'm going to try and illustrate now and hopefully it won't crash this time. Oh, there we go. 
Ooh. So you can see now I've just walked in someone else's game and I'm now playing their world. And if I don't like it, I can just uh, load another one, hopefully a little bit nicer. And it just changes things up. I think all the action was going on in the office there, so I'm just going to mince up the stairs. And there we go, there's a big pile of errors with a big headed green there. So there's some really nice features with the new version of Gary's Mod. Um, all your add-ons are in one place. Your UI is a bit different, but it's easy to get used to. A lot of it's still pretty familiar. And some add-ons still require that you go out of your way to download them from elsewhere, which hopefully you can do now. Um, I'll be back later. Uh, see you next time.